now I'm Selma Ovis from Ediskill Platform. I'm here to give a brief idea about writing subtest. So today we are going to uh, just ha have an idea about writing subtest. So as you know, this is the third module of our writing subtest. The duration is uh, 45 minutes. Okay. So, but in this uh, 45 minutes, first five minutes is given for us as a reading time. So, this time uh, is very important for us and we, we have to uh, read only our case note. The, whenever the case note is given to us, this five minutes you have to utilize thoroughly for reading. Okay, I will uh, tell you in step by step what you have to do in reading time. And the other 45 minutes we are going to write the uh, case note. We are we are transferring the case note into a letter form. Okay. So uh, during this uh, five uh, five minutes, we are not supposed to take a pen or pencil. Okay. Because uh, they will not allow. We are not supposed just just reading only. After that, uh, this how we will uh, utilize this five minutes effectively is that for, as soon as you get the uh, case note, just flip the page and uh, go to the writing test you have to uh, just see the writing test that will be at the last of the last part of the case note okay so this part uh, this writing task we will understand that what is the job role or what is uh, to whom you're going to write that person's job role designation will be in this writing task and also after that you will come to the front page because you have to crucially utilize this uh, five minutes. That's why we are saying immediately flip the page into the writing task. Then you come to the front page. You have to see what is your role. You will be, it will be mentioned as uh, you are a nurse and so on, so hospital or you're a registered nurse or uh, it can be you're uh, uh, taking care of this patient like that. So you need to know that also what your, what is your role. Okay. So that will be in the beginning. Then you will see the purpose also. The purpose also is very important because that uh, purpose we will be finding at the, uh, when you flip the page, you are there, just above the writing task. Just above the writing task, you will see a discharge plan. So from the discharge plan, you will get a little bit idea what is the uh, purpose of this letter for, for what for so and so reason we are writing or for, uh, for so and so management we are writing so we get an idea as soon as we uh, see this uh, just uh, uh, the discharge plan okay so uh, now you got an idea no in the five minutes you have to just to see the uh, task writing task then come to the immediately come to the what is your role in this case no and then you just flip again to see the discharge plan okay now uh, now this is an s bar it is a tool we are uh, focusing on this case note okay because this is actually a, a format uh, uh, an internationally accepted format to follow is bar that i stands for introduce and identity s is situation background a for assessment and r for request so this uh, this is the uh, in this manner we have to go through the case now. okay so detailly i will tell what is this part because uh, we sh we have to know before we go to the exam we have to know uh, what is what is important and what is the benefit of this is part so it is an internationally as accepted tool for communication among the medical professionals and also it is a standardized approach used in all hospitals uh, almost now all the hospitals they are using this SBAR method. Now it can be used for any type of re referral letters. When we are coming to our subjects, uh, writing subjects, we are using it for as a uh, referral letters. Like we know we have different type of letters. Letters, uh, letter to a community nurse or letter to an urgent admissions. Like you are going to write a letter to a uh, uh, emergency doctor or it can be different type of location like rehabilitation or to a social worker or all this these are the types of letters okay so these types of letters we use this bar method 
and also it can be used for all the health professionals as we know uh, nurses to nurses you can write doctor to doctor or doctor to allied health professional uh, doctor to doctor and doctor also can use to an allied health profession so this is the uh, important tool we uh, use uh, a method before we should follow in our writing class and uh, benefits as i said uh, mainly it focuses on the health issue because the case note is mainly depends on the health issues so on that uh, base and on that criteria we are writing this then the structure and clarity this is bar will give us the structure it, it will uh, um, when you according to that as bar we will try to know the structure and we will try to know the clarity of the uh, clarity and how to organize the letter and also one more the most important thing is that it helps to uh, uh, it helps with inclusive and exclusive criteria as you know all, whatever written in the case note we are not supposed to write isn't it so we have to choose the relevant data that means what is must be included that particular thing only we need to take then it is a, a, a standard approach to all the hospitals then um, uh, this is bar is also uh, uh, used for the assessment criteria this also we must know because um, um, you know in assessment criteria the marks they have given for purpose it is 0 to 3 okay and then uh, for content 0 to 7 so out of 7 you at least we need to get 5 points 5 marks then concise and clarity organization genera and style language so all these are included in this SBAR method that means when you follow this SBAR method we will get the purpose we'll get the content we'll get the conciseness and clarity we can organize the letter we can uh, according to the genera and style style of the letter no simply we cannot write a letter as you write a letter to a lay person you cannot you are, you are writing to a health professional so that format according to that style we have to follow and then language simple languages are also not uh, motivated here we have to use uh, complex sentences we have to use the connectors to organize the language or the sentence and all so this is how uh, we have the benefits of this part and as you know uh, the, the for grade b you have to get 350 to 450 so purpose as i told you zero to three means at least you need to get two okay purpose and all other criteria uh, in 0 to 7 you need to get 5 so this these are the general things which you need to know because without knowing all this you cannot write the sub test and the uh, general format of our uh, letter writing you need to write the date address dear and then uh, salutation then comes the purpose purpose we, we will expand the first paragraph purpose expanded the other para will be maybe background or the situation or uh, according to the letter you will follow and one more para will write uh, the maybe the uh, family background things and all then finally it will be the request so these are the nine comp components which we have to follow in our letter writing the body of letter should be 180 to 200 words it should not be less than 180 and it should not be more than 200 words so it should be in between that okay then uh, some of the tips which we have uh, no, not uh, tips uh, the steps we have to follow one to eight steps are there as father has given a detailed video on these steps so follow the video and try to practice according to the uh, how father has taught step by step definitely you can write a beautiful letter uh, uh, very few points i will tell you in step one to four uh, you have to select the case note uh, how to select the case note and the para in that it comes you have to identify the main issue as soon as you see the case note you just try to underline the main issues or identify where is the main issue what is the issue of this case note because um, why it is emphasized because there may be many issues so we have to focus on the particular issue which we have to write to a particular person which person maybe it's a physiotherapist or to a doctor 
So you have to find out the main issue. That comes uh, how we practice. So when we practice it only, we will try to find out the main Yes, so that is why we are in emphasizing you to identify the main issue, then underline the keyword. Uh, when you underline the keyword also, you will find out that, oh, this issue, this particular issue is the main thing, like that. Then segregate the case note with the keywords. So as you got more keywords on particular thing, for example, like mobility. Okay, mobility, uh, synonymous words are like ambulate, walk. Uh, so that like that many words will be in the particular uh, case now. So that uh, uh, that is a keyword. So when, when you underline the keyword or find out the keywords, you can segregate uh, uh, segregate those particular line, and that then you can transform this case note into sentence. Okay. Then construct different type of sentence. Like as I said, sentence simple sentences. Okay, maybe sometime, but. A similar complex sentence also should be included because as as it is there in the case note we can we just can't transform it right we have to make into a sentence and we have to uh, add wherever the connectors are needed and we have to uh, write into a letter so that is why this first one to four steps is very important so that we can uh, we will try we will be able to understand the main issue keyword and then it will be easy for us to form the sentence from the sentence and uh, uh, all the sentence you can segregate also according to the para wise you can go purpose para then come then come the situation para or the current situation then comes assessment then comes the background so according to the letter we will follow that so step five is another important thing is purpose purpose because we are getting more uh, score on uh, purpose when you write our purpose is the first one right so purpose if the purpose is correct um, and it is a very um, impressive purpose you will get you will score the mark so that is also very important then step six uh, is body para uh, step seven is how other para is formed and self aid is self uh, self correction criteria that you will deal later because first we need to follow this for one to seven criteria when you follow the seven criteria definitely you will be able to arrange the letter then uh, what is the uh, in during the writing time 35 minutes we get uh, so but then you, you need to uh, uh, cut short this 35 minutes at least you need to write within 30 minutes and the remaining five minutes, you need a proof reading. Proof reading in the sense you need to uh, recheck what you have written. Maybe you missed a punctuation, you missed a comma. So this remaining five minutes is very important for us to recheck the uh, letter. Just we write the no, uh, letter and there will be no time and uh, we will rush up with our uh, writing and we may forget to write yours sincerely or uh, this registered nurse something. 